Well, hello, dearest friends, and welcome to the, I guess, annual Urban Nature Walk here on the channel. I'm Christina, aka That Reiner, and today we're going to be splitting this up kind of into two days, I think, because of the weather and just, you know, I'm kind of exhausted after a very long day. It is Friday. It is Friday evening, and we are going to cross the Purple People Bridge right up ahead and cross over to Kentucky. So remember last year how we went? through the riverfront sort of area. We only tackled the Ohio side. So my thinking is that, well, maybe let's cover the Kentucky side a little bit. So I'm gonna split this up and film across Friday and Saturday, but with very good reasons, I think. So without further ado, grab your snacks, grab your trusted beverage. We are obviously keeping hydrated and let's go. calling it my home again so who knows where who knows where things are going to take us as you can kind of see here the bridge is turning 150 this year which i actually didn't know that neither but i mean look at how cool this barrel is i think it's pretty neat so i mean hey at least we got ourselves a little bit of a bit of history right here so oh there's a little walk interesting we'll have to take a look see into this but hey you know what i mean it's the 50th anniversary of the bridge um this is a pedestrian only bridge so only you know no cars or trucks or anything lord knows we got enough problems with the current bridges with that regard but uh yeah so i'm gonna try to get some sneak peeks in here as well um so yeah, if you can kind of see over that way where all those hills are past the bridge, uh, that's essentially the Mount Adams neighborhood of Cincinnati. Yeah, uh, you're gonna need a lot of cash to go and live up there essentially. Um, there are some apartments there that are like decently priced, but it's still pretty expensive up there. But there's a lot of bridge history with Mount Adams and with Cincinnati as well, so yeah it's definitely one of the more unique neighborhoods i haven't had the opportunity to really explore up there yet because it's like all uphill 
but maybe that maybe that'll be something that we can say for another time ideally when it's a little more cooler than this because right now it's about 86 degrees which isn't too bad it's pretty manageable there's low humidity so that might be an adventure for another time especially with the low humidity. Now, if you remember correctly, we did visit that building right there. That's the uh, Newport Aquarium. We visited right around the holiday season. My mom came with me on that one. So I'll go ahead and remember to leave a link or a card at the end of that vlog, but it's in the vlogs playlist too. So usually this whole area, if there's like a festival going on, is where they have a lot of festivals. They just had a seafood festival, I think, not too long ago. Uh, they had an Italian festival, there was a uh, Geta Fest. Uh, Geta is very much a Cincinnati meat staple. I don't know how else to describe it. It's kind of like a ground beef and sausage sort of concoction. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's actually not too bad. It's a really good solid breakfast option, but yeah, it's a gorgeous day out for a walk. So why not vlog it, right? is indeed a thing down here. I was surprised to find that out. Uh, but there's a lot of history with particularly steamboats and that sort of thing in this whole region. So for me anyway, being up from up north slash northern Ohio, it's kind of always cool just to see any and all boats that we can get. And so it's a nice little sort of reminder of like the positives of the hometown, because I mean, everybody's hometown has its positives and negatives. And well, boats 
lots of boats. If you've ever been to Northern Ohio, boats and lighthouses are a real thing up there. So it's always cool to see. I think they're trying to go for like a mixed development type of thing, like parking and retail and residential all throughout here. So they're building this thing up quite a bit, as you can kind of see. I'm really starting to get hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and turn back around. Yeah, we'll tackle the other part of the Kentucky side of the river walk a little bit more tomorrow. I feel like there's a little bit more ground to cover on the Newport side, but I at least got the main nuts and bolts, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and relax for the evening, chill, and then we'll be back at it tomorrow, all right? All right, see y'all tomorrow. Well, hello friends, and welcome back to the second part of our little urban nature walk vlog. Apologies for the traffic. We are currently crossing over once again from Ohio into Kentucky. We're going to show y'all the view and that sort of thing and it's going to be very chill. So we're doing this early one because we're supposed to get storms later this afternoon and two. I was already up early. I got up at like 5, 5.45 this morning for no reason at all but to be fair I went to bed very early last night. So I'm already one cup of coffee in. So I figure, you know what, let's just get this thing knocked out this morning. So, without further ado, let's get to, let's get to. So what we're crossing right now is a very historical bridge called the Roebling Bridge. And it's been here for like God knows how long. <laughs> it actually just reopened to traffic. It used to be a pedestrian only bridge for a little while. For like a good year or two, I want to say. Um, they were working on a lot of historical preservation and that sort of thing. And you get some really incredible views right here. We have a bunch of these little landing areas. So yeah, you might have heard about a little bridge called the Brent Spence Bridge in the media and that sort of thing. The one that's looking a little bit more rusty, uh, that is it. So I want to show you all if you, know, you need a reference point as to what this bridge is. Uh, we have the Bengal Stadium right there. <laughs>
here we are at the River Frontier in uh, beautiful Covington, Kentucky. As you can see, we're going to be following a couple different pathways, more than likely. But we're going to cover as much ground as we can. We just got a wonderful bagel sandwich, as you just saw. And yeah, so we're all fueled up and ready to go. We still got plenty of water and we've got plenty of battery juice left, which is always a positive, right? So that being said, let's keep things moving. It might get a little darker because we're going underneath something here, which of course is always nerve wracking, but if we walk fast enough, we'll be fine. <laughs> also, I'm not sure if y'all have noticed this by now, but we've been filming in uh, 60 frames per second. It technically says like 59.97 or something like that. And I'm like, just, just give me the 60, please. That would be fantastic. I would appreciate it.
So pretty much what I just showed y'all was um, part of the historical Covington Riverfront area. There are obviously more streets into that area a little bit, which we could go more into at a later point, but I wanted to give you all the gist of it. And who doesn't like a good historical area, you know? So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Let me know if this is something that you want to see more of and, you know, we'll tackle as much ground as we can and that sort of thing. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope everyone's staying safe and staying healthy. Make sure to take care of yourselves and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.